right, thanks, Trish. So what can a million dollars buy you in today's residential real estate market? Generally, you can find more space, more land, more amenities, but it's all relative, of course, to the market you're in, and the differences just might hold the key to calling a bottom in the housing market. Let's talk more to two top real estate agents. We have Michael Heco uh, Hellickson, sorry about that, CEO of Hellickson Real Estate, and also Matthew Garrison, Managing Director at the Matt Garrison Group. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. Michael, let me start with you. I mean, are we back to what a million bucks could get you in 2005, 2004? I mean, what are we really talking about here in your opinion? You know, we're really talking about pricing uh, as far back as 2001, 2002. Really? Absolutely. You know, what used to buy, uh, you know, for a million seven, you could get uh, 6,000 square feet of waterfront uh, here in the Seattle area. And now that's, that same house is selling for a nine, nine fifty today. So, Matthew, do you agree with that, uh, with that comparison? I do agree with them. Yeah, it seems like a, a million dollars is the, what used to be a million four, a million five in a lot of neighborhoods in Chicago, particularly with some of the, the new construction, uh, four or five thousand square foot single family homes. Um, they've been hit hard, um, particularly in the emerging markets. Well, I have to see this is good. I mean, prices have to adjust. We had the bubble. Now they're adjusting down. Michael, go to you because Melissa Francis who is actually much smarter than I am, but she's got this thing about no credit. He says credit. that before he insults me. She says that you <laughs> got to have 40, 50 percent down. I want to ask you, for a million bucks, do I have to get 40, 50 percent down from the bank? And is there any credit, mortgage credit, to buy a house? A million yep. bucks, for heaven's sakes. It, it is crazy. You know, ultimately, you don't need to have uh, 40, 50 percent down. Uh, you know, there's still great credit available in the uh, entry-level markets, Thank but you, you do. You and, are going to need 10 and what to 20 percent. Thank you. You can't get a loan with 10 percent down. That, 20! What is yeah, wrong it, with 20? He just said 10 to 20 percent down. All right, I want 20. 10 is too low. Well. No, no. Down. I want 20 percent. That is, we have got to have clear standards. And uh, you know what? These are not only lending standards. These are moral standards. This is very important because that's part of the drift in this country. Moral, sta moral Larry, standards. Moral standards. I am, I am I'm j taking this to a higher level. Go ahead. And Matthew, is Melissa right? Do you have what? to have 40% down or can you get it for 20% down? I think, you know, I mean, if you, can, if you can afford the house, I think in a lot of cases you can get it for 20% down. But, the, you know, the time to, to tighten credit was, uh, was three or four years ago. We've got a big problem now of, of buyers that are stuck in houses they bought in 2005, 2006, 2007. A lot of them are not speculators. They're real people that, uh, that are in a bad situation. And to the extent that, you know, someone can't come in to buy the house with a, with a 15 or even 20 percent down payment in some cases, it's going to extend the problem. So I think we have to ease back into the tighter credit restrictions. Obviously, that's not happening right now. There are a lot of people out there that want to buy a second home because they think, wow, prices are so low in vacation areas around the country where I would want to be. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Is that, a, in both of your opinion, is that a smart move right now or are those prices still falling? I believe they're still falling. In fact, I'm not quite sure we're going to hit bottom until this, as late as 2011. I think the market's got a long ways to drop. You know, one of the problems that we face now is that homeowners are beginning to realize that, hey, you know, I'm, I'm upside down in this to the tune of, you know, over 50 percent in a lot of cases, and my credit will recover faster than the market will, so why not just let it go? Matthew has a local market. Give us a little uh, play in the local market. I had dinner uh, with Dolly Lenz here in New York City. She's probably the greatest uh, a name dropper. Uh, but Dolly Lenz is so famous. She's on our network all the time. She's a great broker. Everybody knows that. I want, and she thinks New York is in trouble. And I'll be honest with you. She thinks there's still big problems here. So I don't want to sugarcoat it. Let me ask you uh, your local market. Where, where are you? Are you in Chicago? Uh, yeah, I'm in Chicago. All right, so what's it doing in Chicago? Let me take me through the city first. Take me through. We're talking million dollars. So let's go through North Michigan on the lake. What's that like? Okay, well, if you're talking core downtown Chicago markets, they're the least hard hit. Um, about a year ago, I was on the show. At that point, I was saying I didn't really think they were hit at all. Well, they're starting to take a hit. Mm. In fact, uh, you know, I saw a foreclosure uh, in one of the nicest buildings in Chicago in the, the Park Hyatt Tower uh, a few months ago. So. We're starting to see stress even in the best neighborhoods. How about as, the suburbs? What about the suburbs? Well, that's, uh, as, you, as you get further out uh, uh, from the core, um, and the same thing goes with suburbs, the worse it gets. Yeah. So if you're in uh, the, the, the higher end North Shore suburbs, kind of close to the city, along mass transit, it's bad, but it's not that bad. The further out you get, if you, go out, if you get out to suburbs where a lot of the commodity tracked housing yeah. was built, yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's not a good situation at all. And real quick, what about Seattle, Michael? You know, I would, I would agree with Matt on that. Uh, you know, if, you, if, if Seattle were a pond and you dropped a rock in it, the further out the ripples go, the worse the economy gets and the worse the, the marketplace gets. Uh, you know, we're just now starting to see uh, some of our, our condos and some of our properties in uh, city limits uh, start to suffer. 
east side, uh, Bellevue, Issaquah, Redmond has now started to see some decline in pricing. Is that but white collar job losses, Michael? White absolutely. collar job losses. That's yeah, a big factor in this uh, it, downturn, isn't it? It is. You know, it started off being the blue collar jobs uh, that really kind of fueled it. Our, but now, uh, now we're starting to see a lot of the white collar jobs uh, really playing into the role. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't. We don't see a bottom in it. We're we're okay. about 10 to 12 months behind the rest of the country, and uh, it's really starting to become succinct here as to the 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 magnitude of the problem. Okay, really depressing. Thanks, guys, for joining us. <laughs> Appreciate it. Trisha, for you.